Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo Technical Developer. In the previous video, we have added calendar view for session model. Uh, for example, if I click on this view calendar uh, icon, uh, we can see the calendar view will open up. But if you want to open the calendar view by default when you click on the sessions menu, so you can also do that so i will discuss about this uh, in this video so the topic for today is uh, how to add search views in odoo if you don't know the basic of the search view uh, we have already a video on our youtube channel you can check it out how to add search view for odoo models uh, uh, check this video check that video and then uh, uh, watch this video uh, after that uh, so in, inside the search views, we have already added to, uh, two searches which we can see to search on the basis of the name and then on the uh, description. So if you go here and uh, click on the course menu and let me enter anything so we can see two searches appear by default. One is course name and the other one is description. So if I click here, so it will give me the result of the required search that I have added. But um, uh, I want to add something like uh, a button here. Uh, whenever I click on that button, it should uh, return me the result according to the search. For example, uh, we have a, a task in this video that add a button to filter the courses for which the current user is responsible in the search view. For example, I want to add a button here that it should show the courses of uh, the user that is logged in. For example, the login user is uh, admin, and uh, I want to add uh, course. I want to add uh, a filter something like the responsible user is uh, equal to the Odo admin. So I want to add something like that in the filter, and uh, it will add a button here. So when I click on the button, uh, it will only show me the courses uh, that are assigned to me. And the second thing, add a button to group courses by responsible users. Uh, here, in this case, I want to add a button here that uh, if I click that button, like for example, group by responsible, then it should show me this view. So I want to just uh, Add it uh, by default here. Whenever I, uh, whenever I uh, add something, uh, it should be grouped by the responsible. So let me just uh, go here and check how we can add this. Uh, if we check this for the filter, uh, for example, for this filter section, if you want to add a new button here, uh, you will have to use this filter tag. So let me just copy it uh, from here, uh, this one, and then add uh, inside this section. Sorry, add it here. So I add a filter. Filter uh, name is equal to my courses. You can add whatever you want to add. You can add any uh, name, and uh, string view is the label that will appear uh, on the filter view and domain domain is the thing that you can define to uh, uh, get the required result for example i want to add a domain that uh, the show me the record whose uh, user is the current login user so how i can add the currently login user id uid will uh, return me the result uh, of return will return the id of the currently login user so i added here that uh, return me the result in which the responsible user id is equal to uid so it means that return those result whose responsible is the currently logged in user so let me just uh, go to the apps and uh, upgrade this module and then check uh, the result of uh, the button added so click on the upgrade button to upgrade the module. So go to open academy and here 
if i click on the filter i can see a filter that has been added uh, with the name my courses if i click here it will show only the courses that are assigned to me so as i am logging as uh, the system user dot boot user so no none of the course is assigned to me therefore i cannot see any course uh, and the second thing uh, which is group by so let me copy this code from here and uh, paste in our search view that we have already added let me go here and add the code here so add some identification like this one this is and then close the group so uh, we have added a take a, uh, a group uh, and string is equal to group by we we need to add a group by uh, a group tag and inside the group tag we can add this thing so what we are want to do uh, whenever uh, we want to add a new group by inside the uh, group by tag if you want to add a new button inside the group by under the group by uh, and whenever user click on the group by uh, and the that button it should group by the courses on the basis of the responsible uh, user so for that purpose we need to a uh, pass a context so context uh, context is the attribute of the filter take of uh, inside the search view that can enable us to pass some keys uh, like group by to pass uh, the value uh, as a boolean like false or true so group by uh, is the key uh, this means to tell the to tell Udo that uh, on which fields we want to a we want to group by the, the records for example in this case we want to group by uh, the base of the responsible user so we have added the uh, field name the technical field name here in this case context a uh, group by and the field name is responsible id so let me save it and then uh, upgrade the module go here and uh, go to apps search for the module and upgrade it after that uh, go to open academy module menu and then if we click on the group by we can see that a group by button has been added with the name responsible so if i click on the responsible you can see that the group by has been added so uh, this is uh, just a simple uh, filter and group by you can add in this way but uh, another thing is that uh, you want to pass the context from the action so that if you click on the course menu the group by should be uh, added by default the group by and the filter should be added by default so what you can do for this purpose uh, like uh, you can see here the action can also set default value for search fields for search fields through its context so you can pass the context from the uh, action uh, for the fields that you have added in the filter and the group by context key of the form search default field name you will have to define the field name will initial, initialize field name with the provided value search field filter must have an optional name to have a defined default and behave as a boolean so let me just do it uh, uh, to show you for example i want to add copy this uh, context and i will add it uh, inside the action so where the action is for example here this is the action of our course open academy dot course model so you need to add field name is equal to context evolve uh, to assign to pass the context uh, will be search default my courses so my courses is 
what it is my courses so if you go inside the search uh, search page view you can see a filter with the name my courses so i want to add with a search by default my courses one i want to assign one this means that by default when i click on this menu item so the this uh, filter should be added by default so let me upgrade the module and uh, see the change open academy so after the module upgrade go to open academy and then if when i click on the open academy menu so this action has been triggered and the uh, my default my courses uh, search has been added by default so the same way i can add the responsible group by also so here if i want to add by default group by uh, what i will do i will uh, copy i will add the name of the group by here and uh, here like search default uh, my responsible by responsible and it should be uh, one the value should be one so let me go here and upgrade the module so open let me upgrade click the upgrade button and after the module upgrade you will be able to see the change so let me click on the open academy and here you can see that uh, when i click on the courses menu the group by is applied automatically so you can also apply uh, both of the fi uh, filter and also the uh, group by so let me just add both so let me just uh, replace this thing with uh, my courses like this one my courses so you can edit here my courses and then upgrade so between these two values you will have to add a comma so let me upgrade the module again to see the change that we have added open academy sorry and then click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so here uh, we will be able to see the change so here we can see my courses and responsible both have been applied automatically by default when i click on the courses menu so uh, i want to show one more thing that uh, whenever i click on the session uh, session menu i want to show the calendar view so how i can do it if i go to this uh, sessions uh, action uh, here we have added three form calendar so if i i want i can change the sequence from here for example by default i want to show the calendar view so uh, i will have to add it at the first place let me go to apps and upgrade the module to see the change that uh, we have added and uh, go to open academy then courses so here you can see by default the calendar view is uh, open up and i can switch to the other uh, view like uh, tree view and if there is any view like calendar campaign view so i can switch like this one uh one more thing that i want to uh, discuss is that uh, if you if you have multiple search views for a single model you can specify the default view using the search view id in the um, action so this is the assignment for you people if you don't know the syntax you can just uh, go and search here search uh, view id so you can just search here in the default add-ins and you can find the format and the syntax of this field that how you can add it so please try it uh, and uh, tell me in the comments that uh, what problems that you get so thank you guys for watching this video please uh, uh, subscribe our channel if you haven't already